coming soon to a smartphone near you. Here's some exciting news. Thank you, Bill Gates and Big Tech. We appreciate what you're doing. Bill Gates, the Gates Foundation, are um, in favor of developing digital certificates that would certify that individuals, American citizens, have an immunity to this virus and potentially other viruses going forward uh, to then facilitate travel and work and so forth. What are your thoughts from a civil libertarian point of view about these types of, uh, what some would say, tracking mechanisms that would be adopted going forward to reopen our broader economy? Yeah, I'm very concerned about a uh, slippery slope in terms of uh, continuing encroachments on personal liberty. I, uh, I do think during the emergency, uh, appropriate reasonable steps are, are, are fine. But a digital certificate to show who has recovered or been tested recently or when we have a vaccine who has of people who've received it. That's his answer on a Reddit Ask Me Anything. They had a little forum. I'd be a little concerned about that. Can we be anti-false religion versus being anti-Semitic? What do you think? You believe the Messiah Ben David is, is coming is the, to, the, to this ben temple? David is very soon and he is a Jew and it is, he is not Jesus and uh, if the Christians want to hold it, they can hold it. But we will never change our mind. We prefer to go back to Auschwitz and not to change our religion. So yeah, what we've got here is this new Sanhedrin and the dedication of the third temple altar, which is unbelievable to see. We thought this was fake news, friends. We didn't realize this was even real news. We thought it was one of those weird articles on the internet, but it turns out 10.30 a.m. this morning in, in Jerusalem, we actually have a dedication a ritual for the altar sacrificial altar of the third temple the day after Hanukkah the feast of dedication we have this dedication ceremony by the new Sanhedrin another point of view our endangered minds we need to be aware of what's happening in our world if they're ready to take digital certificates of our health, then our economics is going to be right along with it, along with our DNA. Next, Judaism is a religion that does not believe that Jesus is God. In fact, there are many religions that do not believe Jesus is fully God. Many people say he's fully God and fully man, but when they say fully God, some people don't quite believe that. The Bible says in Colossians 2.9 that all the fullness of God dwells in Jesus Christ. Then in 1 Timothy 3.16, which Isaac Newton rejected, it says that God was manifest in flesh. Throughout the New Testament, whenever you see the word God, you must read the word Father. Never can you read the word or phrase Trinity, an invented word by the Greek philosophers. Acts 21, Paul took a Greek into the temple and defiled it. We cannot take Greek philosophy into our theology. So let me identify those religions that do not believe that Jesus is God. Number one is Islam. Islam will acknowledge that Jesus is prophet. They'll even acknowledge that he's an anointed one, Messiah. He all, they will also acknowledge that he is the offspring of God without understanding that he's the only son of God, the only sired son of God. Whereas Adam was the son of God as well, but he was manufactured. Jesus is the only son that was sired. Next we see that the Unitarians, a man named Francis David in Transylvania, began to reject the deity of Jesus Christ. In fact, they stopped invoking his name in prayer they forbade people to pray to Jesus, and that has caught on. 
and the Unitarian movement doesn't even use a Bible today. So they began to deteriorate and they deny that Jesus is God. They'll acknowledge that he is a man, son of God, which is human, and they'll acknowledge that he is Messiah, but they will not acknowledge that he is God. Uh, next is the Trinitarians. The Trinitarians believe that Jesus is God, but only one third of God, a invented eternal son that they invented through philosophy. And of course, this is abomination. This is syncretism, mixing Greek philosophy with the pure word of God. We should go to Psalm 119 if we want a definition of Jesus' deity. Also, Psalm 110, 1 through 4, and Isaiah 9, 6. You'll see that Isaiah called him the everlasting father, the mighty God. And finally, the religions that deny that Jesus is God, the father, is Buddhism, Eastern mysticism, Jehovah's Witness. These people, all in New Age, they all deny that Jesus is God the Father. See, the Bible says, to wit, God was in Christ. And it means the Father was in Christ. Jesus is a mystery. The Incarnation is a mystery. Nobody can explain it, but it can be revealed by the Holy Ghost. In fact, Jesus was so frustrated with his disciples in John chapter 13 through 17, they did not recognize him, who he was. He said to Philip, Have I been with you in such a long time, and yet you have not known me? If you've seen me, you have seen the Father, John 14, 9. So, do you see Jesus as the Father? Do you see him as fully God? Because if you don't, you have violated 1 John 2, verse 22. Who is a liar that, but he that denies that Jesus is the Messiah, the Christ? He is a liar, he is Antichrist, that, de that denies the Father and the Son. Notice those two words are put together, Father and Son. Jesus is Father and Son. Well, God bless you today. I hope you enjoyed the uh, broadcast. And uh, we'll see you next time here at 153greatfish.com. <laughs>